Hey guys, when I saw the auction for Magic Gurus says trans right, I could not believe this is actually happening. So it is a set of five Guru lands that were signed by a, I believe, a non-binary Magic player. And they say on them, trans rights are human rights, no turfs on girl turf which you might realize was the cards removed from the deck at Mythic Championship 6. They are the same ones Autumn used, and basically they were used to witch hunt Teresa Nielsen. This was the beginning of the end for Teresa Nielsen. And now they are being auctioned for more money than they are worth. So the set of five in non-damaged, non-altered condition would be eBayed probably a thousand dollars. They want to raise up to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. So by defacing the cards, what they're saying is the value of these cards have gone up ten times. Now they're saying that that's because Autumn used them, that because these cards are known quantities and there is the in the comments the guy selling it um, has confirmation that these are these are the land that Autumn used to disgrace and let's be quite frank, eliminate Teresa Nielsen from our game. Now, very few people will step up for Teresa Nielsen. I'm going to step up and say, you know what? You can read the comments. The moderators love this stuff. At the end of the day, this is not acceptable. This is absolutely not acceptable behavior for you to make profit on someone's on ruining someone's life for you to make profit on that is i don't know magic the gathering is pretty disgusting right now i'm not going to lie to you the people in it are quite disgusting we just had noah and rachel bradley we had dozens if not hundreds if not thousands of predators before noah and noah won't be the last one in fact right now as we speak there's a magic the gathering judge or a magic the gathering content creator or a magic the gathering artist doing something bad we've had mistreatment of african americans as quoted by african americans and now you're trying to make money from the pain of someone else. I mean, th these land. So Teresa and Nielsen made some of the most beautiful artwork. The reason these cards are so expensive is the artwork is good. The artwork is good. The artist at the time was respected. T for Teresa to constantly be dragged in the mud, just constantly. I mean... It just baffles me why they have to continue to. I mean, she's gone. Wizard of the Coast has given Autumn everything she wanted. Everything. Autumn doesn't work. She gets paid. She wins. She's not even good at magic. And why do you still have to go after Teresa every single blanking time? I mean, it's like a new creative way. Okay, let's auction these cards which deface Teresa's it's not enough that we took the set of the five Guru lands and we played with them at a official Mythic Championship. Autumn played with them and was told to remove from a official Mythic Championship. And then that blew up on Twitter. And then people were hating on Teresa because anytime, anytime these cards see the day of light. So it's crazy because I would buy them just to r get rid of them. So they can never use it against Teresa again. But at the same time, then they would do it more, right? Like what would stop them from buying a new play set of Guru Lands and then writing on them and then selling them for $9,000? 9, $9,900. If the total amount collected would be greater than $2,000, then an additional 20% of each winning bid will be donated to the organization of the winner's choice. Assuming the choice is made in good faith, and I see no issue with the organization. So let me read you that again. Assuming the choice is made in good faith, and I see no issue with the organization. 
Isn't that selective behavior? Isn't that excluding? It's like, hey, I'm going to include everyone except I'm going to pick, which therefore defeats the whole point of a charity, right? Like, why would you say, hey, I will let you pick the charity of your choice if you spend more than $2,000? Oh, by the way, you cannot pick X, Y, and Z. What would be the point of giving someone their that choice? So, I mean, if you read the comments, they're very anti-Teresa. I mean, this should be deleted off the face of the earth. And this is everything wrong with Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. People are selling these cards and making profit from other people's misery, other people's pain, other people's hurt. Teresa lost her job because of these cards. She lost income. She was harassed. She was attacked relentlessly. And now we're going to sell these cards for profit. Capitalism, baby. We hate it until we hate it. You know, you... <laughs> They hate us because they ain't us, right? <laughs> All right. So here, here's what's going to happen. And let me just make it very clear. These cards have zero value. They are defaced. They are, in my opinion, unusable. Um, try to use them at a tournament. I, I mean, just try it. Let's see what happens. Even Autumn could not use them at a tournament without a vent. So here's the problem. Autumn is not a good Magic player. Autumn is not good for our community. Ever since Autumn became the Mythic Championship, an NPL member, it has gone downhill. Like, it has spiraled. And this giant, you know, I mean, literally, people are flushing Teresa Nielsen signed Force of Wills down toilets. Or they're attempting to, but they're too dumb to do that. It took them like, what, two, three minutes to flush a card down the toilet? Why don't you wrinkle the card up like toilet paper? And, I mean, I don't get it. Um, let me just say that at the end of the day, there will be a reckoning. There will be a reckoning. And I will be there to witness it and laugh at these people for being so dumb. Because... I don't know. If you're a purple dinosaur and you just live in purple dinosaur land, great. I don't care. But as soon as you're a purple dinosaur that starts eating people and destroying their careers and their livelihoods, somebody should sue you into oblivion, purple dinosaurs. Bye, guys.